Hi guys, how are you? This is Maria and today I want to talk to you about all the things I learned doing Project Pen. I have six things I learned doing a Project Pen. Theoretically, I did two Project Pens. I did one in 2019 and one in 2020. The 2019 one, I wasn't as consistent, I took too many products on and I kind of, there were some circumstances changing at home that I couldn't film anymore as frequent or I didn't want to. And in 2020, I sorted myself out. I said, we're starting fresh, a new project pen. I took on less products, one product of each category. And I, as you may or may not know, I have a small collection anyway. So most of the products that I had in my collection, in my project pen were like a day-to-day -day use anyway. So I, why did I do a project pen? It's mainly because I wanted to see if I can commit to something. And also I had a YouTube video and I wanted to do some fun content and because I love makeup. Anyway, let's start. First and foremost, which I just mentioned, don't take too much on, especially if it's your first project pan. Do not overwhelm yourself with products. In my first project pan, I had hair care, skin care, makeup. I had I think in each category I had probably five products to do and uh, I just, it was just not feasible and I just overwhelmed myself. When I did my second project pan, I literally took only one product of each category and I um, kept it mostly to makeup. I didn't even tap into hair care and skincare at all this time around, but yeah. I just kept it purely to makeup and to things that are feasible. I didn't want to make it easy for me to see progress and highlights. However, you just need to do what you think is right. If you have a successful project pan with a smaller amount of products, hey, go, go ahead and knock yourself out next year, <laughs> take on more products. But what, what I've also seen across YouTube is that people do like a rolling project pan or a year long project pan. And uh, sometimes people would change or exchange products based on the season. So for spring, they would use product A and for winter, they would use product B because, you know, skin tone changes, um, your skin changes in general from, I don't know, dewy to dry and so on and so forth. So very important step, do not take too much on. The second point is adjust your project pan as you go or depending on circumstances or things we can't control like a pandemic. So my 2020 project pan was going really well up until March and then we were all sent home working from home but obviously we didn't know how long this is gonna be. It will, we all thought it's temporary so I fell into my working from home rat, which means I didn't wear makeup in the morning. I would work in my PJs. I would work from the living room floor. And, you know, I kind of stopped using makeup except for the weekends. And then when I did my check-in in March, even though I still had a highlight, if I remember well, uh, my progress obviously slowed down. I only used half the amount of the products that I would usually use it up. And that went into April. And then mid-April, I think I started like treating every day working from home as I would go to work, like go uh, get up in the morning, do my makeup, you know, get dressed and then work. And obviously I then started seeing progress again, not across my lipsticks, I'm not wearing lipsticks at home, <laughs> but I started seeing better progress again. But like in hindsight, now we're in November, I'm working, I'm still working from home, it's been eight months. Now in hindsight, I think I should have just adjusted it, I should have taken products out, maybe I should have gone into skincare, maybe I should have gone into hair care, but you know, I... I <laughs> But obviously that's the benefit of hindsight. My third point is, and this is probably more so for me, is don't get into a frenzy or obsess with seeing highlights. 
Obviously, I had a good run in my project pen for the first six months where I did see highlights, where I did see uh, weight loss and so on and so forth. However, I got into a frenzy about panning makeup. I was like, I need to pan this, I need to see progress next month, so I would like put on more. I would like, I would kind of fatigue myself with uh, makeup. July was like the worst month. At the end of July, I said, I need to stop. I need to take a break. I, um, so in August, I didn't use any makeup because I just couldn't look at it. I think I used like 10 days out of, of August where I put on proper makeup, except for eyeliner and mascara. That, that I do that every day, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't obsess over it. It's not healthy. You will burn out. I know you think, oh, who burns out of makeup? but. Believe me, it can be. You get just fatigued and you're like, okay, I can't look at it anymore. And if you want to have a successful project pan, I guess you want to make sure that you, you know, have a steady flow of progress instead of like feeling like you have to use up this product for the sake of using it up. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, please comment below and I will clear things up. <laughs> Fourth point is use your favorite products. Don't let them get to waste. We all have that super pretty lipstick or highlighter or I have the Hourglass Scattered Light, which was an expensive eyeshadow in, in a little pot that I only use on special occasions like birthdays or I used it on my wedding day. However, I realized don't let your good products get to waste, wear it when you feel like it like every day is special you can make yourself feel special every day so it doesn't really matter don't let products go to waste just because you're doing a project pan or or you restrict yourself from using other products or something like that like come on i think if the pandemic taught us one thing nothing is constant <laughs> so just live your life yolo and enjoy your expensive or super pretty products now instead of you open it one day and it's expired and then you have to throw it away and you literally throw the money down the drain don't point five is a project pan can make you feel punished for buying things this is a bit of a hard one to explain in the sense that let's say you have a big makeup collection i can't relate i don't have a big makeup collection but Let's say you have your items for your project pen and then you use them and semi-enjoy them or don't enjoy them or you want to just pan them for the sake of panning because you want to get rid of it. But then you buy something new and you kind of <laughs> want to use that new product because it's new and shiny and because, you know, new products are more exciting or work better than the old products. And then you feel like, but I have my project pen and I want to see progress and I want to use things up. So you don't use your new product and you use your old one and you might hate it for some reason because it doesn't work so well. And then you kind of feel punished and guilty for not using the new one or making your life easy in that sense. However, when you use the new product, you will feel kind of guilty and punished that you're not using your project pen and not progressing on it. And so this goes into my sixth point where I would say don't hate pan. If you hate a product, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I know it's expensive, but I'm sure you have a backup already. Uh, you bought something new and shiny and you want to use it and like get rid of it. Don't feel guilty. Just use your new product. Roll it into your project pan. I know it, project pan is not all about panning old makeup but it's also about panning what you want to pan like there is no rules there is no project pan king or queen that determines how your project pan is supposed to be no one is going to come around and be like this is not how you do it and so on and so forth just do literally whatever <laughs> your heart desires and to this point don't hate pan if as i said get rid of it if you really really hate it or try to adjust it like if you have a liquid highlighter and 
you hate it on your face maybe you can use it on your body or you have serums in your skincare project pan and you can use them on the body if you really 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 want to use it up just adjust it just go with the flow um, as I said there's no rule book to project pan you can literally do whatever you want no one there's no one to tell you what to do this is it this is my little video I hope you liked it give me a like if you liked it or subscribe if you want to see more videos have a good day wherever you are see you bye